good morning everyone in the previous lecture we have studied about newton raphson method now we'll go for the next method that, we, that is regular falsi method or method of false position here to find this method we have to using using this formula that is x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a in the interval a comma b and like how we are selecting in the previous method that is a and b we are selecting such that we are seeing the condition that is f of a into f of b must be less than zero here also we have to follow that first example using regular falsi method to find the root of x log x to the base 10 minus 1 point to which is equal to zero here i have to carry three iterations see here the given equation we call it as f of x now we have to find a and b we'll check with the numbers first i'll put one here replace x as one we are going to get answer as minus 1.2 which is less than zero please remember whenever log to the base 10 is there you have to press log itself whenever log to the base e is there then press lan and check for f of 2 that is x in z place by 2 i am going to get the answer as minus 0 0.6 again which is less than 0 we will go for the next value f of 3 f of 3 0 0.23 which is greater than 0 therefore the roots are 2 and 3 the roots are 2 and 3 here a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and i know f of 2 f of 2 is minus 0 0.6 and f of 3 is 0 0.23 substitute in the above formula that is a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a simplified you are going to get the answer to point seven double two eight this is your x1 now i have to find f of x1 that is f of two point seven double two eight which is equal to here x is replaced by two point seven double two eight then simplified you are going to get the answer as minus 0 0.01 double 5 which is less than 0 now for the second iteration please you have to note that if f of a into f of x1 is less than 0 then you have to take a is equal to a and b is equal to x1 if f of b into f of x1 is less than 0 then you have to take b is equal to b and a is equal to x1 here in this example see here f of a is minus 0.6 and f of x1 is minus both are plus which is not e less than 0 ne therefore i'll take that is f of b into f of x1 therefore f of b into f of x1 which is less than 0 when f of b into f of x1 is less than 0 then i have to take b is equal to b and a is equal to x1 x1 is what 2.7228 and b is what b is equal to b what what is your b value that is 3 therefore for the next iteration this is your a and this is your b then you have to find f of a and f of b then again substituting the formula you are going to get the answer after simplification that is your x2 and you have to find f of x2 again find f of x2 by replacing in the given equation whatever the answer of x2 is there that you have to replace now for the third iteration again you have to check whether f of a into f of x2 for the previous iteration we have to check not for the x1 therefore f of a into f of x2 which is less than 0 or f of b into f of x2 is less than 0 here f of a into f of x2 is less than 0 when a into x2 that is f of a into f of x2 is less than 0 then we have to take a is equal to a and b is equal to x2 a is equal to a means that is 2.7288 and b is equal to x2 your x2 is 2.740 next for the third iteration this is your new a and this is new b find f of a and find f of b you know then substitute in this formula then simplify it you are going to get the answer as 2.71 therefore f of 2.7140 which is equal to minus 0 0.00476 they told you to carry out three iteration therefore till x3 we have to do if they calculate tell you to calculate up to four iteration then you have to do the one more iteration by checking the condition 
f of a into f of x3 which is less than 0 or f of b into f of x3 which is less than 0 in in those two which is satisfied then corresponding you have to set i mean uh, substitute the values like uh, by taking a is equal to a and uh, f of x2 is equal to f of uh, x3 is equal to b then you have to substitute in the regular false method formula then you are going to get the answer thank you